Hey Gemini, welcome to your April tarot reading. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. Gemini, we're gonna dive right in. So make sure to like and to subscribe. I thank you in advance. Okay. Oh. The Nine of Wands wanting to come through, but I still wanna shuffle a little bit. Are you hesitant to say goodbye to something it feels like you're almost almost ready to close some type of cycle very interesting that the nano nine of wands came through i'm so in the cups here as general energy for you this month seven of cups really ask us to keep our options open there could be something that you think you want, you believe that it's the right thing for you, that it will make you feel complete or it will make you so much happier, but actually a better option might be showing up for you this month. Seven of Cups is such a mysterious energy and in my personal experience, the card that has been coming up the most in the last year. I feel like... There is so much that we don't know yet. There's so much uncertainty in the world and every day we change. Therefore, our goals are going to change, our desires, our needs. So definitely let yourself be surprised and remember that you don't need anything or anyone to be complete. You are already complete so anything new any wish any new opportunity new relationship will add to your greatness will add to wherever you are but you're already complete okay so <laughs> let's see what this is all about for you gemini sun moon rising in venus some of you know already that i have my venus in gemini which is one of my favorite placements. Um, let me know in the comments. What is your placement? Look at that. The world card is the first card for you in this reading. Very interesting because I saw the nine of wands earlier and I felt like you were almost done with something. Actually, with the world card, you're never looking back. You are free from an energy or... Maybe you are entering or about to enter, sorry, a new era of your life. Very interesting. Queen of Swords. Your mind is very activated right now, Gemini. And it feels like you could be asking yourself, am I making the right decision? Is, is this really aligned with my truth? Or am I being influenced by external forces or external things, situation, and people? Um, you've been through a lot. The Queen of Swords is definitely a survivor. And it's very connected to you also. I see this card as when we are learning to nurture our thoughts, our ideas, when we are able to really pause with an idea and nurture it. So there's something that you want, Gemini, clearly. Either you want to really say goodbye to the past and start a new era. It seems like you're ready to do that. You're excited for that to happen. But your mind is still messing with you a little bit. I think it's a good thing because the more the ego and the nervous system is activated and, and kind of doubting this next step, it means that you're probably doing something right, you know? The mind, it wants to protect you. And that happens when we are listening to our soul, listening to our heart. So whatever you're choosing or about to choose, whatever direction you're going, uh, it feels like it's the right one. And remember that the more activated your mind is, I feel the better this decision is for you. Knight of Swords. Your focus is on something very specific in the month of April. And things will be moving very, very fast. Some of you could be traveling, could be 
talking about travel or even planning some type of trip, maybe you feel like you are called to visit something different to maybe go visit someone that you've been talking to online. With the Queen of Swords and the Knight of Swords, Seven of Cups, I do feel like for a lot of you, there could be an online relationship, romantic or not. You are feeling called to go meet this person. You want to connect in deeper ways. Uh, and I feel like things could be evolving very quickly. I'm going to be honest, Gemini, there's a lot happening. There is a lot happening. And it feels like... There's something new opening. Again, it could be a new relationship. There is an invisible thread connecting you with someone. And you're taking action on your feelings, it seems like. So let me know in the comments. Have you been talking to someone online? Have you been uh, experiencing... Look at that, Two of Cups. Have you been experiencing some type of of online romance or feeling called to travel, go visit someone, um, meeting someone halfway. With the Two of Cups as center energy of your reading, there is definitely a lot of potential for love this month. I'm not going to make this whole reading a love reading. Uh, that's just not my gem. There's so many love readings on YouTube, so I, I, I don't like being specific about love. But something is growing. You know, we go from an ending, releasing the past, never looking back, stepping into a new era, communicating, nurturing our feelings, focusing on something and getting it very fast. And now that you planted the seed by either communicating with someone or initiating some type of new beginning, it's expanding and it is reciprocated. Your feelings are reciprocated in the month of April, and that feels very good. Um, again, it does not have to be about romance for everyone, of course. It could be a friendship, and it could also be about radical self-love. Two of Cups starts with them always. And we have the Nine of Wands in the reverse, so very interesting that this card is coming back in the reverse, and we have the Fool here. Whatever you were hesitant about, whatever you had a hard time saying goodbye to in the recent past, there's this natural flow happening in April. And the things that felt very uncomfortable in the last couple months or even in the last year, it's becoming more flowy, more comfortable and you are giving yourself the opportunity to trust. And with the fool here, there's a soul calling. The fool is the soul of the tarot. The whole tarot is the story of the fool. This is you starting not even a new chapter, but a whole new story. And I feel like for some of you, it's going to be a love story. It could be a love story with a person, and it could also be a new project, new destination, new idea, something that you will nurture, something that you will focus on day after day, and it will grow. And The Fool is really about infinite possibilities. Um, but there's a lot of online communication. Don't know why I'm getting that. There's a lot of air energy here which you are comfortable with. It feels like you're given the chance to get to know someone, get to know about something before taking action, before actually showing up, which feels really good. Yeah, look at that. Empress and Four of Cups. So Empress is about receiving. And this is definitely a time where you will receive love, abundance, but the Four of Cups is asking you to be very clear with your boundaries. I'm going to be honest. What I'm seeing here, especially with the world and the Seven of Cups and all of the beautiful love energy that I'm sensing in this reading, I feel like there could be more than one option for you when it comes to relationship. Or there could be 
an opportunity showing up. It's exciting, it's inviting, but you are focused on something else. So it's very important to be clear with your boundaries, who you want to give energy to, what is the number one focus for you this month. And be clear with that. Because the Four of Cups is about saying no. You already have so much. Three beautiful cups here. So when this Four Cup comes in, you have to say no. Your focus is somewhere else. So there are many, many layers to the Four of Cups. I feel like it can be challenging to have to say to someone, I'm sorry, I don't have time for this. It doesn't mean that I don't care. But right now there are so there's so much on my plate. We're going to take another tarot deck and we're going to dive deeper into this. Uh, a lot of love. A lot of love, my friend, for you. And if you know me, you know I don't do specific love readings. Again, there's just something wanting to come through. We have the Seven of Swords in the reverse. So that tells me you're about to get a lot of clarity. Um, this is clarity of the mind, I'm sensing. Very interesting. We have another Seven coming through for you. Hmm. Seven of Swords in the reverse for me is feeling like you have enough. And yeah, there's going to be opportunities showing up for you. And your brain is going to tell you, your ego is going to say, hey, you might miss out on this opportunity. If you say no, it's never going to show up again. And that's not true. Everything that's meant for you will find you. It's not going to pass you by. And there's something that you have to say no to this month. Listen to your gut feeling. Listen to your gut feeling. You know what's right. You know where the focus should be. It's going to be clear this month. What is the most important thing? Is it money? Is it, you know, wanting to travel? Is it to build a deeper bond with this new person I'm sensing? It's going to be different for each and every one of you. Something will require most of your focus. And it's going to be challenging to say no to whatever does not feel necessary. Hmm. Tell me more about Gemini. What do we need to know about this Nine of Wands in the reverse? Clarify the Nine of Wands in the reverse for me. Five of Pentacles in the reverse. It's becoming a lot easier for you to make up your mind. You know exactly what you need. You know what your body needs, what your soul and heart wants. There's something kind of poetic about it. And I'm not trying to sugarcoat. I think you're going to notice beauty all around you this month. And <sighs> there's something here with the Five of Pentacles. If you've been dealing with any type of health issues or something that you've been struggling with around your body or maybe finances it feels like things are becoming much more balanced the mind is clearer the soul is leading the way and i'm not trying to sound woo woo it's exactly what i'm sensing here it feels like there has been a lot of confusion when it comes to what you want, what you need, what you should focus on. And as the, the month is starting, everything becomes clear. Because again, your soul is leading the way. And that's big. Seven. Another seven for you. I like it. Four of swords in the reverse. And the seven of pentacles. Yeah. That's it. The mind is getting clearer. And you could have felt trapped in a mental prison for a while. Feeling like your own thoughts, your mind, anxiety, mental health. It has been keeping you from so much. Might have been hard to 
change your perspective about someone or something, especially if you've been hurt in the past. I feel like you've been trying to protect yourself. And, you know, when I saw the Four of Cups and any four in the tarot, really, number four is really about boundaries. What supports us? How can we protect ourselves, our feelings, our nervous system? I'm going to be honest. I feel like in the past, you might have been hurt in a situation and you created walls around you. And the difference between walls and boundaries is that walls keep everybody out, but boundaries show people where the door is. And I think that's the switch in energy that's happening this month. The walls are coming down, but that doesn't mean that you're not protecting yourself. It doesn't mean that you are foolish in any way. You are simply opening yourself. And... The universe is sending some type of invitation. You know, we have seven, 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 and I'm not done with this reading. When you see the number seven, it's always a call back to the self, to the present moment. And like I said earlier, remembering that no one will make you feel complete. It's not another person's job to make you feel complete, to make you be, to make you feel seen and heard. It has to come from you and you have to really see that beauty within yourself. And I think this is what you've been working on. I think this is the level you are at now. This is a major time in your life. A lot of major cards, a lot of repetitive numbers, um, you have been changing the way that you embrace change, embrace timing, embrace the rhythm of the universe. It feels like at one point you almost gave up. You were like, I don't even want to believe in love. I don't even want to believe or wish that big things are coming. I keep on hearing that and it's not happening. I am done. I don't even want to hope for bigger things. And then the switch is happening this month. The seeds that you planted a while back, they're growing. And the thing is that when you plant seed, you know, the day you plant the seed is not the day you eat the fruit. And I say that all the time because we have to be very patient when we initiate things, when we manifest things, you know, putting it out in the universe. I want to find love. I want to change my job. I want to get more cash. I want to change my body. Whatever it is, you've been nurturing the seed. You've been cultivating your personal garden in some way. And now this month, the seeds are flourishing. You are in the Empress energy, noticing all around you the change and really you flourishing in some way. And again, I said it earlier, there's something very poetic about this reading. So some of you could be a poet, an artist. I talk about this all the time with you guys, Geminis. In my opinion, you are, you know, at the very top of the artist energy, in my opinion, and that's very personal to me. You have a way of doing things, a way of communicating, of sharing your vision, your perspective of the world that is very unique to you. And even if you are not an artist, I can guarantee you, Gemini, you have, you have a creative force inside you. And sometimes you don't create art with it necessarily, but you create magic all around you. This is what's happening this month. The seeds that you planted a while back are flourishing and you are flourishing. As you are entering a new era of your life, as you are saying goodbye to a lot of past energy that don't fit you anymore, there could be relationship that you've outgrown. You're starting to realize that like, oh, okay. Especially as your birthday is slowly but surely coming up for the Gemini suns. Um, you could be noticing like, wow, I really think that I've outgrown this friendship. I think that I want different things about 
concerning jobs and uh, living situation and there's a lot that don't fit you anymore. You've outgrown a lot of stuff. And now, again, it feels like you're stepping into a new era. If you have some Taurus placements in your chart, if you connect with Taurus energy, go watch the Taurus reading I posted uh, just before yours because there's a lot of similarities here. Um, and I'm not saying this is going to be an easy month, but the energy is getting easier to deal with as the months unfold. Again, anytime we are so close to a big change, to ending a chapter, starting a new one, the nervous system is very activated because it wants to protect you from change. The mind, it hates change. But the soul wants change. The soul and the heart craves change and new beginnings. And that's why I said the soul is leading the way. Queen of Swords is here again and the world card is here again. Look at all the repetitive energy showing up in your reading. Repetitive numbers, repetitive cards. So that tells me as a reader that you will be experiencing many synchronicity. Uh, synchronicities, sorry in the month of April. Synchronicities, you know, repetitive numbers and little magical moments are really calling you back to your center, to the present moment. Look at what's in front of you. Look at yourself in the mirror. Two of Cups can definitely be about love, about a sacred connection, but at the end of the day, this is the soulmate in the mirror. The beauty you seek in others, the beauty you see in the world, in other people, it's a reflection of you, Gemini. And being a Gemini, being represented by the twin, that is like your whole thing. I, I created a reading on the channel that I absolutely love doing, and it's called So Made in the Mirror, and it's reading all about you. Check it out if you haven't checked it out. It's Timeless Readings. And it was inspired by you guys, the Gemini energy, again, the mirror energy. And I've heard so many people in my life say, oh, Gemini, you know, uh, they are two-faced, or this is like the most silly thing I've ever heard. I have never met a Gemini in my life who was two-faced, and I was surrounded by Geminis my whole life growing up, and I still have so many Geminis in my life. You guys are not two-faced. You guys are represented by the image of the twin. So I feel like that is where this misconception comes from. It's not two-faced. It's the reflection in the mirror, soul made in the mirror. So this month, this, me, this uh, saying will take form. It will make a lot of sense during the month because I know it's not coming up for me just randomly. Um, maybe people's perspective of you will change and evolve and also your perspective of yourself is growing. And the things you used to judge yourself about, now you are embracing those things. You know, the parts of you that were so hard to love and accept, now they're becoming tools for you. I like that. So you're never looking back. And this new era that you are stepping in really feels like it is your truth. It is aligned with who you are as a person. It is aligned with your values and it's aligned with the new you in some way. And you don't have to reinvent yourself. You're whole and amazing as you are. But again, a lot will be added to your greatness. This is a big month, Gemini. This is a big month. I'm going to pick some oracle cards. I want to know what the moon has to say about this. But um, again, think about what I said. The soulmate in the mirror and this misconception of you guys. Um being two-faced or whatever, um, which is one of the biggest misconceptions in the whole Zodiac. And I hate when people um, complain about Geminis or 
I hate it. And I always have something to say to defend you guys, you know, and I'm also uh, a Gemini and Venus and Gemini. So I'm like, leave me the F alone. Look at that. A new romantic cycle begins. It starts within you. This new cycle is really you. The love you have for yourself, radical self-love and letting it shine through and opening yourself up to meet someone new. So yeah, for some of you, there's going to be new love. There's going to be maybe getting to the next level of a relationship. But at the end of the day, your relationship with yourself is solid and rooted in radical self-love. And this is definitely attracting more options, more beauty. So keep your options open. Give yourself the opportunity to change while you're navigating this massive change. And we have, yeah, nothing is yet set in stone at the bottom of the deck. You're going to be very surprised at the end of the month of April. Gemini, I invite you to write in the comments and come back to this reading and let me know how April is impacting you and what changes are occurring. Because I'm very, very curious. And I think I will be revisiting this reading. Um... This is very interesting. Again, a lot is happening for you. Gemini, I will be talking to you guys very soon in your bonus reading. So make sure to stay tuned for that. And you can join me on Patreon if you want to learn more about tarot. If you want to see me on camera, talk about tarot. And also I post mystery general readings every Saturday. A big pick a card reading every first of the month. So this is coming out in two days. And yeah, I hope you come join us there. Until then, have a good month of April and take exquisite care of yourself. Bye, Gemini.